Yes. It is the amount of space inside a object or a figure. So we can start there. The amount of space inside a figure. You guys will like volume much, much more than surface area. It's a little bit easier to calculate. Is this because we get to use length times width times height? Pretty much, yeah. It's a lot easier. So like Kamada said, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out like how many of these unit cubes fit inside a figure. So if we want to figure out how many unit cubes fit inside this rectangular prism, we have to find the base area. So what would be the area of this bottom Five. base there? Five. Five times what? Three, which is 15. Three. Yep, so let's write that. Five times three. And what do we get? Fifteen. Right. Now think. I'm going to have 15 of those. So 15, four times. That's how many times I'm going to stack 15 on times itself, on top of itself. So now we have to take 15 times our height of four. And what do we get? Oh, 60. Yes. So we can fit 60 unit cubes inside there. But now, when we label for volume, what do you think it is? Is it units, units squared, units cubed? It would be units cubed. Yes, because it's cubic units. How many of those little cubes fit inside here? Okay, so the big idea today is volume equals base area times height. So we have to figure out whatever our base shape is, find the area of it, and then multiply by how tall our object is, okay? Seven. Yep, so here someone's already starting on this first rectangular prism. What are the dimensions of my base down there? Seven times four. four. Yep. So we're going to take seven times four. Twenty-eight. Perfect. And now what is our height of that prism? Five. Yep. So now we have to take twenty-eight times five. One forty. Yes, good job. 140. And then do we have units on this one? Inches uh, cubed. Yeah, inches. Perfect. See, that's not so bad. Cubed is three, right? Yes, sir. Sure is. Okay, what's our base shape on this guy over here? Eight times six, which is 48. So you're so close, but what shape is this? Triangle. It's a triangle. So remember when we find the area of a triangle, it's half base times height. Wow. So you just forgot the half, right? But you are so close. Our base is eight and our height is six. So let's first figure out what half of eight times six is. Can we use times eight times six is uh, the half thingy? Yeah, so what is eight times six? Oh, uh, 48. Yep, now we have to take 48 and divide it by two. So 48 divided by two is? 24. Perfect. Now we have to figure out what our height is. So how tall is that? Prism. Three. Three. So now we're going to take 24 times three. Which is 72. Yep. 72 feet. Cubed. Oh, yep. Perfect. 
cubed. I was going to put squared. I'm just so used to it. <laughs> Good job. Okay, let's try another triangular prism. Oh, wait. The bottom's on top this time. That's okay, because they're the same, okay. right? Times seven. Yep, so half, seven times seven. 49. Yep, now I take 49 divided by two. 24.5? Yep. Times our height. Now, how tall is that prism? 10. Yep. 10. Anyone get an answer? Yeah. Uh, hang on. Is it 245? Sure is. Yeah. Inches cubed. Good work, team. Okay, when you're ready, flip it over. And then we're gonna also flip it over. Okay. So this time we have, what kind of a shape is this one again? A cylinder. A cylinder. So it's the same idea. We just have a little bit of a different formula. So for the volume of a cylinder, we have to look at our base shape. What's our base shape here? A uh, circle. Yes. Do you guys remember how to find the area of a circle? Uh, no. Pi R. Pi R squared. Yes. So what is our radius? Two. Yep. Two. So let's plug in two, so pi two squared. Okay, what is two squared? Four. Four. So let's just leave this as four pi for right now and we'll come back to it, okay? Times our height, now how tall is that cylinder? Uh, three. Three. Yep. So now we're going to take 4 pi times 3. So what's 4 times 3? Oh, uh, 12. Yep. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Okay, now everyone, let's take 12 times 3.14 in our calculator. I got it, but I won't say it. Okay, yeah, we'll just let everyone get a chance, and then we'll compare. I got it, I think. Should we share? Since you go first. 9.14. That's what I got. Did you take 12 times 3.14? Uh, yeah. Try again. 12 oh, times 3.14. you said times? Oh, yeah, times, times, yep. Oh, 37.68. Perfect. Should we go with 37.7? Yeah. Feet cubed. Okay, let's try another one here. Got a little narrow cylinder. So our base area. So this time, what's our radius? It's four oh, by it's four. two. So the whole thing is four, but my radius then would be two. Two. So now we got a square two. So it'll be four pi. Yep, four pi. So we'll leave that for just a second. We'll come back to it. Times our height. What is the height? Ten. Yep. So now we can take four times ten. We should get what? Forty? Yeah. Okay, now everyone practice. What is forty times three point one four? Got it. Got a week. Okay. Yeah. Can 
Is everyone ready? Yep. Okay, what'd you guys get? I got 125.6. Me too. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Nice. Oops, I even wrote it down wrong. 125.6 meters squared cubed. Guys, what's going on? Is it Monday or is it Monday? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> it's a muddy no Monday for me. <laughs> Moody Monday. We are just cruising. This is great. Okay, we have one more in our notes. Then we can move on to our worksheet. Okay, let's see here. A little crooked. We'll fix that in just a second. On this last one, could yeah. you slow down just a teeny bit? Oh, yes. I'm so sorry. No, you're totally good. Oh, wrong way. What is going on, computer? There we go. Okay. So this last one says, how many times greater is the volume of the dog bowl than the volume of the mug? So what's our game plan? Does anyone know? What should we do? I feel like we should set them up. Like for the mug, we should do like two, like, or figure out the volume of both and then combine the answers in the end and see which one's bigger. Okay. So, should we start with the mug or the dog bowl? Mug. Mug? Okay. So, we are finding the volume of our coffee mug over here. So, again, we start with our base area, which is just a circle. So our formula is pi r squared. Now what is our radius there? Two. 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 So we're going to plug in two for r. Okay, what's two squared again? Four. 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 Now we'll just leave that for a second till we multiply by our height. Now how tall is our mug? Sure is. So now we're going to take our 4 pi times our height. So what's 4 times 4? 16. 16. And now we're just going to take 16 times 3.14? Okay, one second, my dear. We're on a roll. We are on a roll. Does anyone want to share what you got? 15, or 50.24. Perfect. So should we do 50.2? Yeah. Okay. 50.2 inches cubed. Okay, now we got to check out the volume of the dog bowl. So again, we start with our base area, which is just a circle. But what's our radius this time? It's six, but I feel it should be three. No, nope. you're right, it's six. Yep, it's just six, so pi six squared. What is six times six? 36. 36 pi, perfect. And now our height, how tall is that dog bowl? Four. 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 So now we gotta take our base area times our height. So what's 36 times four? Um, 144. Yes, 144 pi. So now let's all take a second, 144 times 3.14. Not the answer, but I will not say it. Okay, one second, buddy. Got it. Got it. Good Got work. It. Okay, who wants to share? Four four fifty two point one six. So that should, one. Should we do four fifty two point two? Yes. Okay. Sure. 
And it's going to always be inches cubed, correct? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Our units are cubed. So now our question is, how are we going to figure out how many times greater our dog bowl is compared to our mug? What do we have to do to these two numbers? Divide. Do you guys agree? Do we divide? Yeah. I think so. Good work, Sincere. So let's take 452.2. Divided by 50.2. So about how many times greater would you say? Nine times? Yeah, nine times. Good work. Woohoo! Super job, folks. I can be. Okay, so now let's move on to our, it's that neon pinkish, reddish, whatever color you want to call it worksheet. Hot pink. Hot pink. Yeah. Looks, can you guys see the color on here? Let's see. Oh, that's bright. Uh, that's what it looks like. I'm going to use a white copy of it, though, when I do the notes, just so it's easier to read. But that's the one you're looking for. Give everyone just a hot second here. At my old school, our projector was broken. And so like every single time we, it was just in my math class that our projector was broken. So like the, the um, paper would always be pink or blue the entire time so the teacher couldn't make it like special colors oh seriously it, like, it out too much. that's fun yeah it was like really weird <laughs> i wonder if it had like a light bulb out or something <laughs> i think so or something was wrong with like the cording system right it was so weird. yeah did everyone find the worksheet are we ready to roll yep okay i'm gonna use again this white one so it's a little easier to oh yeah that's way better to see okay so the first six questions they're asking us to decide if we are referring to volume or area so remember volume is how much of something is inside an object and the area is the surface so paint on a wall is that referring to area or volume if i'm going to paint a wall no wait area yeah that's area right you're just covering the surface of the wall what about the amount of paint in a can? Volume. 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 Wrapping paper on a box. So if we were to wrap a box for Christmas, is that volume area. or area? Area. 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 Wait, wrapping about a box or wrapping a box? Wrapping a box. So, like, if you were to wrap, like, a present. What about the contents of a box? So, like, what's inside the box? Volume. 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 Water in a lake. Volume. 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 Yep. Good work, team. And then our last one, the surface covered by a lake. Area. 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 Good work. Good work. Super. Okay. It says find the volume of our candle. So, ooh, this is good for us to talk about. When you see a big B like that, like on this problem, they're already giving us the base area. So we, they've already done half the work for us. So if we wanted to find the volume of this calendar, calendar, <laughs> candle, our base area 
it's already given to us, so it's 63.6. Now, what is our height of that candle? 12. 12. So now all we have to do is multiply those two numbers together. So let me know what you guys get. Got it. Gonna wait. Okay. Got it. All right. What did we get, folks? Uh, 63.2. Good job. Centimeters cubed. Why is there two? Did I not do it right? I got um, it too. I got point two. It's oh, it on a paper. Centimeter squared. Oh, because that's for uh, the base area, because that's just area, but when we multiply it by the height, that's when it becomes cubed. Good question. Oh, okay. That's a great question. Okay, this time, what's our base shape of our candle? A triangle? Yeah, so first we have to find the area of that triangle. So half base times height. That's our formula. Okay, what is the base of this candle? Is it eight and six? Yeah, it's eight and six. Yep, so let's plug those in. So half eight times six. 24. So you could do, what's half of eight? Four. Four, and what's four times six? 24. Perfect. So that's our base area times our height of our candle. How tall is our candle? 10. 10. 10. So now we can take 24 times 10. 240. Yep, 240 centimeters cubed. Oh, look at this one, guys. What did they give us already? The base. Yep, we don't even have to work for it. They told us our base area is 23.4. How tall is our candle? 12. 12. Okay, you guys take a minute, multiply those together for me, and then we'll compare. Got it. Okay, what'd you get? Two two hundred eighty point eight. Yes. And cubed. That Jeez. girl. Good teamwork. All right. We are cruising right along. Okay, ten through twelve, we are asked to find the number of unit cubes that fit inside the box. So really, what are we looking for? The box. Area of the box? Are we looking for area or volume? Volume. Volume, yes. Volume. So let's start with the base area of our rectangle. So if I trace out this bottom here, what are the dimensions of that guy? Five and three. Yep. So we're going to take 5 times 3, and what do we get? 15. Yep. And then how tall is that box? 2. 2, yep. So now we take 15 times 2? 30. 30. So we can fit 30 unit cubes inside that box. Okay, you guys do 11 and 12 and then we'll compare. So do these two and then we'll compare.
Is that enough time for everyone? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, what did you guys get on 11? I got 48. You. 48? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good job. 48 unit cubes. What about on 12? 24. Are you okay with 24? Yep. Okay, I agree. Okay, let's go to the back. No. I have one quick question. Yes. Um. So okay. So when we did the um number eight on the front side, yep. we had it half times base times height. Yes. How come we didn't have to do that for um ten, eleven, and twelve? Good question. So the difference between eight and then like ten, eleven, and twelve. Yeah. Do you see how this one's a triangular prism? Oh, okay, gotcha. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's flip to the back. Okay, let's, we just did a bunch of rectangular prisms, so I'm going to cross off 13 and 14. Would we rather do 15 or 16? 16. Okay, so let's cross off 15 and let's start with 16. Okay, so this is a triangular prism. So with our base area, it's the half base times height. So what is the base and height of that triangle? Uh. 10 and 7? Yeah. So we're going to take half times 10 times 7. So we could think half of 10 is 5. What's 5 times? 35. Yep, 35. Good job. Okay, times our height. How tall is that triangular prism? 11. 11. Now, if we multiply those two together, what's 35 times 11? 385. Good work, Violet. Inches cubed. Okay, folks, what about 17 or 18? Which would you rather do? 18. You want to do 18? Okay, let's cross off 17. Okay. Did we cross off number 15? We sure did, buddy. Okay. Okay, so this time for our base area, what's our base shape on a cylinder? Well. That's our radius, but it's a circle, right? So we're gonna do pi 12 squared. Okay, what is 12 squared? 144. 144. So we'll leave it like that for now. And then how tall is our cylinder here? That's either 15 or 16. 15? I think it's a 15. Can we agree it's 15? Yeah, it's 15. I think it's 15. Okay, we make it a pretty large number, but that's okay. Okay, let's first figure out what is 144 times 15. 2,160. Dang, girl, okay. you're quick today. And now we gotta take this guy times 3.14. So let's all take a second to do that. 6,782.4. Jeez, Violet. Do we agree with Violet? I'm sorry. What a tragedy. <laughs> you guys are so I just my fault. It is your fault. 
Well, you know, I'm sorry that I'm quick at math. Hey, we're it's all... It's the one class I actually enjoy during this quarantine. Woo-hoo! That's true. One. Facts. You wait, volume. I think this class is the my least overwhelming class out of my any of my other classes. Well, I know, good. right? That's why, like, this one and tutorial are, like, my easiest classes ever. And it's like, awesome. my Spanish teacher will not stop uploading things. It's unbelievable. Like, I've never I, seen any, like It's, like, teacher. one thing after another she uploads. It's so oh, overwhelming. Really? I feel that. Yeah, you definitely have to stay organized and keep yourself accountable, right? On, like, a schedule when we're not together. Yeah. My English teacher gave me, like, gave us, like, a organization, like, uh, like, printable things or whatever that we can print out if we want. Yeah. And that's really helpful, though. Oh, is it? it look- yeah, it's really Good. cool. Hey, I'll take my money. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, okay. I don't have the library here, too. Yeah, I want my 15 bucks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, let's... Should we do the multiple choice and then be done? Yeah. Do we cross yeah. off 19 and 20? Yeah let's, yeah. let's cross off 19 and 20, and then we'll finish with the multiple choice. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. 21? Yeah, so we have 21 and 22 left. Oh, that's right. Ooh. Okay. Ow! Why do I keep hurting myself? Oops. The camera keeps freezing up over here. I'm sorry. I'm a little slow. All right, we are looking for the approximate volume of this cylinder. So if we start with our base area. That's fine. But now what would our radius be here? 10. Yep. It's half a 20. Oh, okay. I was looking at something else. Okay, what is 10 squared? 100. 100. Yep. So let's leave it as 100 pi for now. Whoa. Dude, this is light work. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Now, how tall is our cylinder? Five. Five. Okay, I got the answer. Okay, hold on. What's a hundred times five? Five hundred. Five hundred pi. Now let's multiply. Um, Anyone have an answer? Yeah. One thousand five hundred seventy. Jeez, my look. <laughs> so if we had to pick which letter best approximates that volume. Yeah. C, I agree. Okay, we're going to end with a challenge. This one's kind of different. Yeah, we don't have the height. Yes, and so it says we're given the volume this time is 168, and we actually have to figure out what the height is. So this time, let's do this. 168 equals... Our base area times our height. So that's what we're dealing with here. So let's drop down our 168 because we can't do anything with it yet. But what's our base shape down here? Seven. Seven and three. three. Yep, so let's put in seven times three. 21. Yep, so 168 equals 21. Now, what's our height in this problem? We don't know. But what letter do they use? X. So let's put an X right here. So now, how am I going to get rid of this 21 by that X? You have to divide. Let's divide out, folks. Got it. Okay, one second here. We'll see how we do. Did everyone else get it? Yeah. Okay, what did yeah. you get? Eight. Eight. Good job. Eight. Proud of you guys. Okay, just so I can see if I have everyone's name down, I have T, Famata, Sincere, Violet, Naomi, Casey, Kellen, Mason, 
Sean, did I miss anyone? No. No. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Mom, I heard my don't even go there. Okay, I'm proud of you guys. Um, have a super day. Get outside. Get some vitamin D. And I will see you come Wednesday, okay? We'll have kind of a fun day. Okay. Okay, we'll see you then. Bye. 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 Bye.